Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. How are you doing today? I wasn't expecting to make a video, and I thought I'd make this quick one because I just was tinkering around in the model room here. I uh, actually kind of couldn't sleep last night, and I woke up in the middle. Well, I was awake, and I'm thinking about this model that I have had this idea for a very long time. It was inspired by, you know, a picture I saw a long time ago, and this was a kit that uh, I surprisingly don't think I had in my my stash so I picked it up at Andy's back when I grabbed all those kits from the stash the AMT Challenger well you know I've just you know you know you get those ideas it's just sticking your head and bother you Just a quick build I want to do. I don't want to get too crazy, but I just had this idea of kind of a canyon car where I need to have really wide tires on this thing. And I'm digging through my tires. I got tires spread all over the place. I'm always looking at cool tires and just fitting them up under bodies. But what I like to do is I like to take the chassis stick it in there and see what kind of clearance because I'm going to be going with way larger tires than what came in the kit. And I want to go with the biggest I can, I can find. And I got my wheel and tire combination here and look at these michelins i don't even know what kit these came out of i think these are i don't know if anybody knows i'd like to find more of these this has just been a set of tires i found that i just wanted to hold on to you nice big wide treaded tires that are still 15 inches you know i i, I just still want to keep that 15 inch wheel look kind of going old school and new school combined together going for that pro touring look canyon carver but still sticking with 15 inch wheels that's the whole premise of this car now the problem that i have is of course the tires not fitting i can't even get a good look here because i want that to stick up in there so the tire is just too wide for the wheel well we got to we don't really have to narrow it but we got to mini tub it okay and there's also i also need to figure something out in in the front too but i can get the front in there i'm probably just going to have to do a little bit of clearance with the inner fender well not too concerned about that i can keep all the stock suspension i don't want to go too crazy on this model almost kit bashed it with something else and i was like wait wait i just wanted to do a fast one i need to make without doing a back half or anything i just want a mini tub so i want to just show you I, I started on it on one side and I figure I'll show you guys how I, I do this a lot when I just want a quick mini tub for just wider tires. And you can see I've already cut out for it. And look at that. It fits right up in there now. I can put that where I want it, which is probably going to be right about there. But now this fits in there and I can do my adjustments with uh, the rear suspension. I'm probably either going to inboard the springs or I might come up with a whole different, different rear end setup. That's not what this is about. Just mini tubs. And this will work for... A, road race car drag race car you know i've done this a lot on drag race cars but you know i just started hacking and cutting but i think about it i don't just cut away and uh, let's just look at that and i'll start doing it on this side so you see what i've done with this mi this mini tub i wanted to retain the kits stock tubs they're plenty big enough and i like how they follow the curvature of the inside of the body they fit in there and they fill everything really well for this model so i just needed to cut all all the way up to the subframe here and uh, in doing that i look at my tub how it goes and right where it starts to curve down you see that how it starts to go down i took my razor saw you can you can lots of times i just would hog this all out with my dremel it's fast but i wanted to take my time because i think i wanted to save the inner part because i might use this piece here and and actually get it to fit in more and so i can kind of have that widened but stock looking inner fender well which is kind of a popular thing today with a lot of the uh a lot of the autocross and and uh guys like that and uh so i just wanted to kind of retain that i went right about there right where it starts to curb down and i took my razor saw i really like using my razor saw a lot instead of just busting out the dremel and going crazy hogging it out i see my line where it starts to go down these things cut so straight once you get a good cut in there you just take your time and start slicing these things just cut very thin and laser straight and so you can be pretty uh, pretty accurate 
once you break through to the other side it really starts going we're getting through but you see how it's just a nice straight cut I love razor saws but you can see how nice it just cuts a nice straight and I just take it right down to about right to the floor and it just did a nice look at the house cut right where I want now now here we still got a little ways to go you know that portion right there I always keep a nice fresh blade real carefully I'll just take my my exacto knife and I'll kind of get in there and I think I this what I love about this plastic on some of these kits this is when it's the soft real easy to work with plastic it's easy to cut and I kind of use the exacto knife to scribe it and just kind of get you take your exact knife your exact knife being so straight too you can usually kind of cut a groove and it just going up and down like that and it keeps it nice and straight and you stick it down in there and just get in there and I'm just gonna because it's that soft plastic and it just cuts I cut right down to where I want to go now I want to go straight across so I take right here because this all curves and I'm just gonna again using my exacto knife as also a straight edge I can just kind of start a line I have a nice straight guideline and I do the same over here and we got some grooves to deal with that actually kind of help you out because when you cut into those those kind of keep you going in a straight line um, again here we go I want to try to save this piece so I don't really want to start grinding it out uh, but at this point in time I probably am going to bring out my Dremel tool and do a little bit of work. So at this point, just for ease, and I've got my guide points, and I want to just go right along the frame right there. This is where I'm going to bring this things that I've told you I'm scared of these. They frighten me. And I already have on my Dremel, my, my barrel sander I always keep on there. I have this power control with the speed knob on there so I can really get this thing slow. I've showed you before. I do not have any power to this. This will not accidentally turn on. I always suggest that when you're changing bits, especially something like this can, can go right through your finger really quick because you're holding it and then now I, I got it in place. Now I can flick it on. So I'm just going to just do some quick cut and I'm not going to go up against the frame I just want to get the major plastic removed now that I got that gone so I'm going to shut the power off and take this off I'm just going to start working the rest of this piece off with the with the exacto knife just because you know it's such soft plastic and the little thing I do I kind of start wedging the exacto knife in and I just slowly work like that and it, like a can opener and it just kind of cuts that way you don't have massive force going on where it could break stuff or fly through and then you stab yourself and I went ahead and I cut out of there I'll do the same here I just take it in a, where there's a slot I stick it in there and I just start kind of can opener be careful with it I just need to get this big piece out plus now wanting to retain that piece for later use and we are almost free there it is it's out and we've got all our open area now I go in here and just kind of cut around See how we got kind of a lip there that's been built up? I'll just follow the line of the inside of the tub. Cut that away. I'm going to get rid of all that, the curved part. And I'm just going to work away a lot of the plastic with the X-Acto knife. Because like I said, the X-Acto knife and this soft plastic... If it's hard plastic or something, you, you can't quite do that with the harder plastics. 
but this stuff that AMT used to use, and I, th pretty much a lot of the plastic today is soft like this, but I always like working with this kind of plastic. See how we have a nice, just squared off right there. We got our squared area. I'm kind of going to follow the frame there, and I'm just I'm planing off all that plastic. There's not a lot there. Watch your fingers. This is just my way of doing it. Uh, I just don't feel like pulling out heavy tools or grinding. On the other side, I ground this all out with the uh, with that little Dremel tool and that barrel sander, but I seem to be getting what I want with the X-Acto knife. All right, so we got everything set out of the way. Now, I'm gonna take just a couple of sanding sticks, the coarser one, and I just go ahead and sand the remainder off, just rough it in. You see the, what I'm getting rid of, I want that right to the frame, where we just have the frame. I'll sand it smooth. We'll take one that's a lot, lot lighter and just kind of finish it off. You can go through different levels of sanding sticks and sanding really get this polished nice and where you have no scarring whatsoever. If this was a real high-end build I was doing, I would really take my time in sanding stuff out, but this is a quick build, so I'm just using these two grits and just getting it good enough. It's going to be hidden by the tire. So I'm going to hokey a few things on this one because, again, it's a fast one. I'm not going to worry too much about heavy detail because we're not going to have an opening trunk might see it from behind. I haven't sure how I'm going to do the interior yet. I want to have kind of a barren interior. You know, I just want it to, it'll look good when the, when the tires are in there. So you've got plenty of space now. So I'm going to finish up with a jeweler's file. Get all this nice and squared. I want it to be I want this all to be square and perfect to go with the, the, the shape of what was already there, factory. I still got a little bit of an edge around there. Yeah, I'm just going to finish carving away with the X-Acto knife, just following the, the, edge of the, the edge of the tub or the inner portion of the tub as the guide. A little bit more cut there because we want that to continue on in like a tub well I pretty much got it where I want it so we've got ourselves much more open space now we got to fill that space so I think with keeping the inner portion here we want this to fit more down uh, so what we want to do is I'm going to what this was what was up against the frame right there I'm going to just follow that and cut that out. Kind of smooth all this out. Now, at this point, using this part as a guide, you can just grind it or you can cut it. I've been doing a lot of cutting. I'm going to first kind of draw something to follow with the X-Acto knife. Just following that edge that's already there. See what we got going there? So. I'm going to do one side where I'm staying away from my fingers. Every pass you go a little bit deeper. Until you finally get to a point that will probably snap right off. We're not all the way through, but I think we're through enough that this piece will all break off of there. We can, we can liberate it from... You can still see where the frame was, but that was basically you know, right where it went up against the frame on the inside here. But quite honestly, that is a way to do it if you don't have something like this. But really, me, I'm just going to go ahead and grind the rest off. That's really what I would do. Because it's quicker. And I got to where I wanted to be. So there we are. It's kind of all cut out where we have our inner fender well that I will just see. We got the groove here that of of that uh, subframe right there that I can just stick that. I can literally glue that right to there. 
You see that? We're going to glue that to that. That's going to give us our inner fender well. I'm just going to stick it right into there. Let's, let's glue that up in there. Got my glue on there. I'm just going to like hold it into place. Because I'm using my Tamiya Extra Thin Quick Set. I love this stuff so much when you're scratch building because it, it sticks pretty fast. I mean, you want it to set there for a while. But there you got your inner, inner fender well. Look at how much more wider we are. Now at this point, you know, you, you can maneuver. You can look in here. You want it to maneuver a little better. That's where I like this quick set is it's kind of forgiving when you first get it going. Get a little quick set in there. I'll be patient and I'll hold it in place with my fingers till it kind of starts to stick. And it's right where I want it. You can see how it follows the whole shape of the rear frame. And what we'll do is we will let that sit and set up. There you see, you can always go in there and fill that in if you if you really want to. I'm probably not going to because again, this is a quick build, not a like a going to go to the show and be super detailed all that's going to be covered up by the tire so i'm not super concerned about it and it'll probably be black i don't know i might work it a little bit but uh it's it's not that big of a deal if i was doing a real heavy duty detailed beautiful show piece i would really work that all in i truly believe in when i'm scratch building you could scratch build tubs totally but I love using existing pieces from what I cut off because it just it, it, it it's so easy to get to fit back in. So you know, we're gonna have to wait a little bit. What we'll do is let that set up and uh, we'll just fill this in with sheet plastic. Alright, we'll be right back. Okay, so we are back and we are going to we got this, it's all nice and set up in there real good, and I am going to take some plastic right here kind of very thin I have a proper pen around but just get an idea of the width we need I'll take my straight edge make a nice straight line with the straight edge come across here and there we go we got a nice strip of plastic let's see i'm gonna have to move the camera to the edge of the tape i'll show you what i'm doing i just kind of run it like that so it curves it it starts giving it a curve just start working the plastic so it's starting to curve a bit and we'll basically just kind of go lay this down across here you can spend your time doing measurements all this like i said this one again isn't as big of a deal so I'm not going to be really putting a lot of time into it. I'm just wanting an outward appearance look. But if I was building a all out wanting to be a masterpiece, I would definitely take a little more time in measuring things. I'm just kind of cutting and fitting, cut a little bit off. Don't want to cut too much off. And so I'm going to go ahead and glue this in. I think I'm going to use CA glue and accelerant because I want this to, to zap in place real quick. Now I'm going to be just laying this on top of it, just working it around, zap onto that. We're getting there you see we're starting to create a tub with not taking a lot of time <laughs> so you might have to do it in pieces you see how i went off a little bit in a bad direction so i am going to redirect a little bit here so you might have to do it in pieces so i'm just going to start working the the other half down it goes right down perfectly Where I need three hands again. Let's get a little zapper in there. CA glue and zap a gap. Especially for the hack model building I do. Alright, so we've got that whole piece put in. This is done quick. It's kind of sloppy. There's a lot of little place to fill. It's all what you're after right there. I've got a tub. At this point in time, 
you're roughed in. You can start making this look as nice as you want it, but you've got the main structure there. It's all filled in. It's all done. And it's, it's you know, for this model, good enough. Again, if I wanted to go farther, I would start using putties. I would start filling in with plastic, doing a lot of shaping and filing. We're not going to get into this. I wanted to show you the basics of just making some mini tubs. Not needing to have tubs you know a whole back half or whatever sometimes you can just get away with just some good tire clearance so look at how much tire clearance we have made for ourselves so at this point in time it's it's let's do a test fit and kind of a mock-up your chassis in and I'll take my big wide tire stick it right into the place and now I got a lot of room plenty of room I can even go with a I can't go with quite a big slick but actually you know what you could get that slick into there a little bit more filing but being model cars things rub you know you make a little bit more clearance thinning out the quarter panel and maybe thinning out right there but there you go for a nice drag car especially these might be a little more jacked up if you're doing like a 70s drag car you got yourself plenty of tire clearance let's take a look from the back if you get an idea right there look at that we got plenty of tire clearance from when this was stock so you can fit a big drag slick in there uh, I know I, it all depends on how particular you are. Real world, that it's, everything's touching. It would all rub. But model car world, got to remember, sheet metal is a heck of a lot thinner. I mean, you, you lose a lot, of, a lot of space that a real car would have. So it's okay. You know, let's not be so tough on ourselves. You want to go for a look. We got ourselves a cool look. Just for fun, I'm going to put a wheel in there so we can get a look and look at that. We got ourselves a pretty cool looking drag car too if we want. Look at that. It fits in there nice. Mini tubs. You don't have to back half the whole thing. You do some modifying to the rear suspension. But that's it. That's mini tubs. That's simple as that. You can go on farther, finish it up, but that that's how I do it. And now you know how I do it. And now you guys can give it a shot. Let's see. Let's do one last look at what I'm going for. I'm using these uh, Steoli wheels. They come from the, the cop car. I'm not going to tell you anymore what I'm doing. This is a, a idea I've had for a while. I'm going to get these tires up in there good. i got to make some clearance in the front to do it. But there you go. There's my little Canyon Carver Dodge Challenger I'm going to do. So there we go. That's how Lucas C does a mini tub. And we've got plenty of room. We'll be working on the front here, but that is pretty much it. That's it's a simple little mod, and you can take it as far as you want, but that gets you where you need to go. We'll give you a quick look right there. Mini tub, plenty of room. Here's a nice look from a rear little mock-up I did from the rear, and you just get a good look at how those big wide tires will fit. I just I like wide tires on these cars. I hate it when they have these skinny little tires. They look, they look like they're going to fall over with the skinny tires. you got to have some meats under there. Anyways, I want to thank you guys all for watching. I hope you learned something. This was fun this morning. Uh, almost didn't catch it all on, uh, on video. I'm sitting here just tinkering away at my models. I go, oh, wait, I'm a YouTuber that does uh, model car tips. I should throw that in there. Hope you learned something. Thanks a bunch for watching. Thanks a bunch for your support. Go on over to the Teespring. We've got plenty of shirts and we've lowered the prices. So check out the shirts and the mugs. If you want to be a producer of the show, go on over to my Patreon. And then you'll get on the scroll that I'm about to show you. So remember what we say here. Since you're not seeing my face, I'm just going to say, go build model cars. Why? Because I'll tell you, this is a lot of fun. But... But you already knew that. Here's the producers.